where you're your online Samus main. Yeah, I'm an online Samus main. <laughs> so we got Rusty going Falcon. Uh, I've seen a lot of Falcon lately from Rusty. He, was, he used to be mainly Pika. I think he's felt better, especially against, against Pika, as Falcon. Mm. And MHA, he's... Uh, he, you know, he plays Fox, he plays Link, and he's pretty good with both of them. But, yeah. like, he's a Pika main. He's, he's always... I, I haven't seen him main another character. Although, I wasn't around when he first got into uh, Xanadu. Uh -huh. I'm kind of curious. I'll have to ask him. I mean, he's real good with all three. I mean, v, v said, he could play Bracket with all three. He said he used to... Uh, MHA used to obliterate him with Samus. But that was just because V had no answer for Samus down there. At uh -huh. least that's what MH is. It's like, no, my Samus isn't good. You just don't. You didn't know how to beat down air back in the day. Oh, good edge guarding from MH to the front end of that up air to knock him out. A little, maybe a little unnecessary, but it's a safer option. Oh, he missed oh. the Derek. He's trying to go for the Derek with the Derek. Gets hugged for it. Oh, Rusty. I don't know yep, where to hide. Bad. Yep. Oh, um, MHA gets grabbed. Not necessarily a good thing for Rusty. Oh, uh, that's going to be it. Yeah, you can get that grab, but it, it can still set you up for another edge guard. Yeah, I mean, Dark Hug isn't fast enough at that low percent to really make anything out of it. I'm imagining him, like, speed hugging. Oh, I like to imagine, like, the explosion <laughs> is just him going, like, <laughs> and, like, that's what sets it off. Uh, Soto calls it, uh, Besitos. And kisses. I would say I've, I've uh, <laughs> never watched telenovelas. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good follow. Oh, yeah. Shit. Nope, that's it. Yeah. I feel like that's the easiest edge guard in the game. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Pika. Every edge guard uh, is Pika the easiest edge guard. Uh, edge guarding Pika is super easy. 64 is easier. Oh, see, so yeah, Rusty, a uh, bit of an unsafe landing there, and he jumps oh. right into that back air. Uh, MHA anticipated his jump. Spectacularly. That's kind of that's kind of what you do. Um, eventually, that gets a little harder. But if you're able to read your opponent and know when they're gonna jump, you just meet them with the back air. Yeah. Oof. Going for an up smash here. Totally unnecessary, but he is up. Oh my god. Whoa, that double net. Nice oh my god. That was filthy. That was dirty. Oh my god. That. What was that? Was that? A falling nair to short hop nair to a down air? He had a couple ledge cancels in there, too. Nasty. God. Yeah, he switched to Pika. Oh, yeah. Rusty busting out the, his old shoe. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like... I mean, Pika is kind of a catch-all character. But, like, I, I feel like if you're that uncomfortable with Falcon, I don't know how much Pika is going to help right, you. Right, right, right. That's the thing. It's like... May, maybe it depends on the person. Like, um, if you feel like you're not doing a good job of um, like recovering, then maybe Pika can give you the distance, the, you know, yeah. the difference there. But but you're right. Realistically, if you're just not winning the neutral, going Pika, that's not gonna help you. Like you still have neutral to play, yeah. even if you're Pika, because you know the other person is also still Pika. Yeah. The, but, like a, a good swap might be um, if you're like if you're winning the neutral a lot but you're not finishing your combos right then you go character where um, winning the neutral is you know like er, oh just short I, I don't know I don't know maybe, maybe going a character if you're losing the neutral and going a character where losing the neutral isn't as brutal um, can help but at the mm. same time you still, you still have to win the neutral here yeah this is a game predicated on neutral. Yeah. Good. Yeah, no, that That's was a good, good uh, warp out of Rusty there. Just kind of got himself out of harm's way. Um, but the switch is looking good for Rusty already. Yeah, no, he's already keeping up. Yeah. I mean, granted, you know, the first one was a Zip Zap SD, but I mean, he took a stock right there, you know, only at 42%. Right. Oh, he missed to get the up B out, but the roll works just as well. Gets hit by the back air. Um, that was a bit of an unsafe. Oh. Okay, he's yeah, he needs to work on <laughs> finding like a little snap safer to places. Ledge yeah, would be better in that situation. Safer places to land there. I mean, that's the other thing. Like, if you swap off to Pika, like, how do you know where your escape routes are if you know you spend most of your time playing someone else? Right. 
Well, oh, you just the, switch mean, off to Falcon. Right? At least for Rusty, he plays. Um, I mean, I feel like he plays both pretty yeah. equally. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. yellow. Yeah, that was a call out. Yeah, MHA is still feeling pretty confident. Yeah, no, he's playing pretty well today. But Rusty uh, definitely has, has looked pretty strong this game. The stock has not gone his way. Oh, the single can be good uh, if the fade back, but MHA wasn't going to be fooled by that. Oh, oh yeah. That's that's a, a, that's MHA a tough classic, type, right? Yeah, he's really the only one, uh, at least here, that we see do that. I don't even know what the angle is on it. That's why I'm bad. Nah, I, <laughs> trust me, I'm, I can't get it to work either, but I haven't really tried. Uh oh. Okay, only a double. Oh. So MHA looks like he's definitely adjusted a bit. Yeah. Kirby. I think Rusty Rusty needs to slow the pace down a little bit. Yeah. Um, he's getting suffocated by MHA. Just like that. I mean, if, if he just kind of focuses on his movement, and, you know, putting himself in a good spot to not get hit, and possibly Ooh, getting it. Ooh, great placement on yeah. that. He called him out, and that was unnecessary, I think. But he gets, right. he gets the follow-up anyways. I feel like if MHA had gone high again, he would have been a much harder to edge guard there. Mm -hmm. oh. He wanted the ledge, though, so. Yeah. Ooh, trying to call him out again. Great ledge cancel for Ooh, Rusty. Yeah. Was, um, are you going to do it? No. Next one. Oh, uh, yeah. In that spot. It's too predictable with that one. And, oh, he tries to, to beat him out with the shield drop down air, but MHA was ready for it. Some of these are really good spots where MHJ's picking to uh, call Rusty out. Because, I mean, you know, they're going to aim for the platforms. You know, you don't always know which one, but if you get a hitbox that kind of covers, like, the center oh. of the platform, you're going to cover Pikachu sliding across it on the quick Ooh. attack. He hit some the wrong way. So, MHA was Ooh. playing that, that basically camping game. He's sitting there waiting for Rusty, and Rusty finally threw out an unsafe aerial and got punished pretty hard. See if he can oh, get up attack, not the uh, quick attack to cover that distance. I like the choice. A lot of people would have just sprinted that, but oh, he threw out an aerial a little late there. He gets the grab. It's been pretty solid with his edge guards. Oh, and he oh. had the he had the read, but just not the timing. He gets him back off the stage. Oh. <laughs> Everyone knows this. Oh, pro tag two o dark horse. Oh my god. Uh, Yo. An animal. He's not happy about losing the shears. Rage Tagonist is just possibly <laughs> the scariest player here. Like <laughs> when he gets mad, like the lamest Falcon. <laughs> oh. And uh -oh. wow, yep. MHA empty hop into the down air. See if Mercy's got a read. Nothing there, but he catches okay. the landing. Uh, right I think I think MHA wanted to fade back onto the ledge. I mean, any mistake's gonna cost Rusty right here. Right, right. So. He has to play pretty flawlessly to bring this to game three. But, definitely capable. Oh, oh no. That's top. it. And that'll do it. MHJ wow. takes it 2-0. Close second game. Perhaps Rusty might have stuck with, you know, Pika the whole way instead of starting with Falcon. Yeah, no, that was, uh, it's pretty close.